All right, guys, today we have another quick review. Give you a quick thumbs up or thumbs down to let you know if it's something you should buy or leave on the shelf for someone else. Today we are reviewing the latest release in the Masters Collection from Woodford Reserve. This is the 17th release in the Masters Collection. The Woodford Reserve 5 Malt Stouted Mash. Master Distiller Chris Morris and Assistant Master Distiller Elizabeth McCall wanted to play up the flavors of a traditional heavy style beer. What's up folks, I'm Jason C. Welcome to the Master Drum Whiskey Room. So in Kentucky, a fermented grain mash is traditionally called distiller's beer. Distillation converts this beer into a spirit that will become a whiskey once it's barreled. The five malt stouted mash is Woodford Reserve's take on crafting a spirit that has flavors of a traditional heavy style beer or a stout. Now I love stout beers, take a closer look. <laughs> So Woodford Reserve's distillery was constructed by Irish stonemasons in 1838, said Elizabeth McCall. Uh, that history, plus the fact that we distill in the Irish style with triple pot stills, inspired us to mash and distill this year's Master's Collection. So as I mentioned, this is the 17th release for Master's Collection. This uh, bottle is 90.4 proof. It's an NAS, so there's no age, uh, no age statement on it. It's available in select US and global markets with a suggested retail price of $130 for a 750 milliliter bottle. So besides the batch proof that you see here, which comes in at full proof, this is 128.3. Um, that was that was an okay batch for me this year. I wasn't really that crazy about it. But besides the batch proof, normally you'll see all the masters uh, the masters collections come in at that 90.4 proof point. Now I got this because I love stout beers, uh, stouts, porters. I love the darker beers. So a, uh, a, a stouted mash sounded very intriguing to me, especially from Woodford Reserve. Let's try it. Here we go. <laughs> so the, <laughs> uh, the nose is very, you know, malt forward, very, very malty, but malty to the point where it smells like Play-Doh. So if any of you have kids or grew up with Play-Doh or, you know, have kids that play with Play-Doh, it smells like friggin' Play-Doh, which it's a nostalgic smell, but it's not a smell I want in my friggin' whiskey. So, I mean, there's a nuttiness to it. The maltiness is there, you know, but the, the one thing that saves the nose, you get a little bit of milk chocolate there, but that... But that malty Play-Doh note just kind of overpowers it. Let's see what it tastes like here. So I mean, when I first tasted this, I did not like it. And I'm, I'm still not loving it. Let me get another sip here. So it's turned. So when I, so it's, this bottle, it has done what I've hoped it, 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 it would do, which is open up and get a lot better than what it was. When I first, the first couple pours in this bottle were awful. That Play-Doh note that I got in the nose was completely translating to the palate and it just, it just tasted bitter and just really off. I gotta say though, with some air time, I wouldn't say it's still great, but it got a lot better. It, it's now turning into like a coffee chocolate experience. It's drinking like a mocha. You know, the more you sip it, the more the maltiness kind of comes to the forefront. I mean, there, there's a little bit of spice there. 
it's mainly chocolatey. It's a little bit drying. There's kind of a coffee. It's kind of like a coffee stout thing going on, which I do get. But it, it's a it's a weird whiskey. It really is. It reminds me a lot of if you guys have ever had some American single malts from some uh, crap like ASW uh, out of Georgia. They make their duality, which is very chocolate coffee forward. I feel like this is starting to go in that direction with some airtime. Um, I don't like the nose on it. The nose is definitely bringing me that that Play-Doh funk, but the palate has gotten better. I will say, I, I'll, I'm very very surprised right now. I was like ready just to trash this thing. It's chocolate coffee, nutty, like roasted coffee, uh, like roasted coffee beans. It's kind of has like even like that roast characteristic to it. A little bit of chocolate, maybe the slightest hint of citrus there. As far as for a review though, I wouldn't recommend this. I don't know if I would give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you can try this before you get it, before you would buy it, don't just buy it on a whim like I did, because I did not enjoy it in the beginning. It got a, it, it's gotten way better with some airtime. So if there is a, a, a true definition of a whiskey that needs some time with air, this would be it. I would not want, I would not tell you to pay 120, 130 bucks for this because I feel like I could get the same type of experience. Even though, you know, we're not using a stouted mash, but the 1910 Old Fine Whiskey, which gives you some of those coffee chocolate notes, can kind of give you that type of experience for half the price of this. Um, or even, like I, like I mentioned, some of those, like an ASW Duality Single Malt out of Georgia, if you have that near you, can get you in this, you know, this range of flavors. But yeah, for this, if you're gonna pay the money on this, you gotta like chocolate, you gotta like coffee, you gotta like a very malty type of profile. Um, but again, in, in, when you first open this bottle, it's it's not gonna be good. I did not like it at first. I hated the palette when I first opened it. Um, over time, it's actually gotten a little bit better, a little bit more palatable. Uh, but still, for me, I, I, this isn't a slam dunk. This isn't a slam dunk thumbs up for me. This is one you have to, this is for a very specific type of drinker that likes this profile. This would not be for everybody. So if you could try it before you buy it, please do. But you need to like those flavor profiles that I mentioned. All right, guys, I well, hope you enjoyed this review for the new Woodford Reserve 5 Malt Stouted Mash. Man. This one, uh, this one is kind of a Frankenstein. It just kind of evolves and changes. It's a weird one. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this, what you think of it. Like I said, I did not like this at first. It has gotten better. I think the nose still sucks, but the palate at least has gotten into a more chocolatey, malty, coffee type of feel to it. So if that's what you like, Go for it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. Cheers. See you next time right here on the Mash and Drum. Hope you're, hope you're liking, hope you're liking these uh, short reviews, guys. Cheers.